the DV owner, the database owner user calling the the, uh, the procedure that I mentioned earlier, the parse as user procedure, and we uh, are able so to grant the database owner role to any user. Here we have another example. This one, uh, we need to create an auxiliary a function that will contain the statements that we want to execute as the sys user. And we impersonate here again the max sys user using this change user procedure that uh, only sys can execute. But as uh, we are exploiting a SQL injection that allows us to uh, call a function that will be executed at the sys user, we then can uh, call this change user, impersonate the max sys user, and change its password. Well, cursor injection can't be used to to avoid the the need of the auxiliary function. Here is another example. This time uh, we also exploit a SQL injection vulnerability in the sys schema. We are, uh, we are able so to insert a row in the sys auth uh, data dictionary table and by doing that we grant the DV owner role to uh, any user. Well, here uh, I analyze a bit more this uh, SQL injection vulnerability to, to see if, if I can exploit it in a different way without the need of uh, the creation of an auxiliary function. So I use this V$ SQL text view to see what is the SQL text that is been uh, executed or that has been executed. So I can see where the SQL injection is and I can see if we can uh, exploit it in some other way. Uh, in green we have the vulnerable parameter as it is concatenated in a string. We see that uh, we have a begin and an end so we can really uh, insert more statements are not just a function call. So here uh, we have a, an improved exploit of this vulnerability that doesn't uh, create a procedure. Then, uh, well, the, all these uh, issues that I've just described are not actually in database vault functionality, but it, it is really a functionality that, that is provided by the Oracle database. But when, when it comes to a, a database that has a strict separation of duty, it, they become uh, bigger issues. There are some other uh, issues that uh, have been addressed that are more specific to database vault, like the realm protection bypass, that uh, if we change the language session parameter, uh, we, we can execute uh, DDL statements and the realm protections won't uh, be in place. And there are some other uh, issues that are reported to Oracle that uh, are going to be fixed. Well, th there are some uh, auditing issues 
for the sys user, I will just describe it this quickly. There are some uh, some things that to take into consideration because the the sys user is not uh, audited in the same way that uh, other users does because the the statements that uh, are executed as the sys user are audited as they are entered. So for example, if we call a store procedure, we just see the exact SQL text that we issue, but uh, not all the statements that this uh, store procedure executes. The, this is uh, because all the audit statement uh, that uh, allows us to configure, for example, if we want uh, specific uh, privileges or specific statements to be executed, doesn't have any effect on sys auditing. But uh, what about SQL injection that allow us to run as sys user? If we exploit this kind of uh, vulnerabilities, only the procedure execute, execution is audited, but uh, all the statements that we execute as sys are not audited. Well, let's see some additional protection measures. Uh, we should be aware that uh, some system privileges can lead to full uh, database compromise they become user privileged, they create library, they execute any procedure, create any procedure, as we have seen. Also, the execution on sys-owned packages. Uh, as we have seen, if we found some SQL injection vulnerabilities in sys schema, we can compromise database vault. There is a a SQL statement that we can execute to get all the users that have these uh, dangerous privileges granted. We should also never use uh, default Oracle users or roles. We should create our own roles because uh, Oracle sometimes changes its privileges and uh, generally it contains more uh, system privileges that uh, we probably need for, for our users. Well, let's see some conclusions. As we have seen, the, the separation of duty that is provided by Database Vault can be bypassed. There are demonstrations of this because some system privileges uh, can uh, lead to full database compromise as well as Oracle Database Vault compromise. All, all these problems in the sys schema uh, makes me think that the, there should be the less components possible in this uh, powerful schema. There, there are some, uh, some things that are being done in these directions. And I've seen also that uh, there are a lot of improvements in latest uh, releases of Database Vault. There are more, more protections from the sys user and uh, there is more functionality that, and tools that can be used uh, with database vault enabled. Well, here is we can find some um, documentation on Oracle Database Vault. I suggest that if you are interested in more references or in more detailed description of this uh, presentation and of this topic, uh, you can read the white paper I wrote that contains more detailed uh, explanation of of the things uh, we we have talked today well now uh, if you want to ask some questions 
feel free to to ask. <laughs>